Hello, my name is Alex Granados. I am a news reporter for Education NC. My name is Liz Bell. I am also a reporter for Education NC. And we are here coming to you live from the General Assembly to give you the weekly wrap up on what's been going on this week. I'll start by saying there wasn't much going on at the General <laughs> Assembly. After crossover last week, things have been in a bit of a lull. Uh, but there was news at the state board meeting that next week the Senate is likely to unveil their budget. Nice. And you were at the state board meeting throughout this week. Three days, right? Yeah, I was at the state board. It was uh, three days. The first day was a work session where the state board invited superintendents from around the state to talk with them about the Every Student Succeeds Act. Uh, that is the federal uh, education law that states are now working on. Uh, plans in, on how they're going to comply with that law and so uh, the state board was working through that with the superintendents earlier in the week and then they had their regular state board meeting on Tuesday and Wednesday uh, they talked about a variety of things they approved a whole bunch of restart schools uh, these are low-performing schools that are basically applying to have uh, charter-like flexibility so there were many of those that were approved um, they heard about a lot of charter schools that have been recommended for approval by the Charter School Advisory Board, but those will be voted on next month. Uh, and there was some spirited debate about a bill in the House that has passed the House uh, that is now on to the Senate, which would split the uh, school performance grades into a 50-50 split. Uh, basically, uh, Olivia Oxendine on the board was saying that was uh, too weak and uh, some other members of the board were saying that uh, they thought it was good. Uh, just for some context, the 50-50 is 50% academic performance, 50%, uh, sorry, 50 academic achievement, 50% academic growth. Um, and many superintendents around the state have been asking for more growth to be included in this. And uh, the 50-50 split would be giving more growth uh, in the calculation for the school performance grades. And so what have you been up to this week? So earlier this week, on Tuesday, I was on the State of Things, um, which is a show out of WUNC, um, talking about Edgecombe County and their continued recovery from Hurricane Matthew. Um, last week, there was a lot of anxiety around um, rising waters and projections that there may be similar flooding to October, but thankfully there hasn't been. Um, the town didn't have to implement you know, an emergency plan or evacuate anyone. So that was really great news for that community. Um, and later on, I was in Greenville. Um, I've been researching the North Carolina School of Science and Math's online program. So everyone kind of knows the school for the residential program where high school students or junior and senior year go and stay there at the boarding school. Um, but they also have a number of distance education programs and they're trying to reach out to um, different areas around the state. Um, so a three-part series on that will be running at ednc.org, so make sure to check that out. And that's our weekly wrap for this week. You can see our Education NC Facebook page, and uh, at, a at Education NC is the Twitter page, and you can find me at A. Granadister on Twitter, and what's your Twitter handle? Mine is at Lizabelle, L-L-I-Z-A-B-E-L-L. -L. All right, thanks for listening.